Hello everyone, that's here back again with another video and today we have something really interesting. So right now, as you can see, I'm going to show you Android 8.0 for Samsung Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge. So Oreo has been ported to our device, so as you can see, it will be released in the near future. So stay tuned uh, over here in this channel because as soon as it is out, it will be over here so you can see these are screenshots and right now I'm going to show you a video which isn't mine because uh, it is the dev the developer ones so it is also on YouTube so I will also leave a link down into the description for it so that uh, you can check it out uh, right now so I'm just going to show you uh, this thing working and uh, you can check the full video into the description so uh, there it is So it's just uh, you, so this is a fully working uh, S8, uh, actually not S8 because I'm used to S8 ports, but it is a fully working Android 8.0 port and uh, as you probably just saw right now, I'm uh, not running Samsung Experience version ROM and uh, I'm using uh, Android 7.1.2 on my S7, so this is the flat version but it's also working on the H1. So this is AOKP ROM, which we're going to take a look at right now. So as you can see, it is based on the 5th of August 2017 entry security patch with a kernel I'm uh, not uh, known to, but it is from the 22nd of September and uh, right now it is uh, the 23rd, so it's from yesterday. So this is basically the developer's kernel and there are no custom kernels for uh, AOKP ROMs, so uh, you stick uh, with uh, that one. So um, this is a fully working, uh, very, very smooth with uh, Pixel Launcher ROM, which uh, also with uh, which uh, has only one uh, bad thing, and uh, this is uh, the camera. So double pressing uh, the power key brings you to the camera. Usually this uh, is uh, faster, but uh, right now you can see uh, here it is. So excuse me. <coughs> um, so let me just uh, focus over here, you can see that if I take a photo over here, you can see that uh, we're going to zoom into these uh, letters over here and you can see that uh, they're kind of over sharp are over sharpened and you can see that those are barely readable over here and uh, this one are, uh, those one are also uh, bored. So uh, there are also one over here on the bottom which are uh, not readable, but uh, as you can see over here on the S6, if I zoom in, you can uh, see that uh, they there at least you can see them, you know, and uh, these are over here are really good. And uh, keep in mind that this is a uh, S6 camera, which also has a focus problem. So uh, camera quality isn't uh, the best over here, but uh, if you're not a hardcore, uh, if you're not a hardcore photographer, you can, uh, the, this camera just uh, works fine. So something uh, that is uh, missing over here is that the back camera resolution can go up to 1080p with 30 frames per second, which uh, isn't uh, that good. But uh, as I told you uh, just a couple of seconds ago, if you're not a hardcore gamer, uh, sorry, not gamer, but a photographer, this is it. It uh, is going to uh, do the job done. So uh, let me just make a sample video so that uh, you can see what it is about. So uh, I'm going to move a little bit around over here just uh, so that uh, let me just focus so you can see that it just uh, was focus as it like it was on the S6. So oh no, I just uh, started recording. So this is something uh, which I'm not used to because uh, as soon as you click uh, the video button for the so yeah, just this just basically switches the modes. OK, so there is uh, the video. So you can see that it is, it's actually good, you know, it's something that uh, you can easily cope with. So uh, the camera quality isn't uh, the best, but uh, 
everything else is uh, working perfectly android 7 that one that two with uh, the camera shortcuts as you can see i just uh, get out the battery one there is also a theme engine and a wrong control application and uh, we're going to take a look at it uh, just right now so uh, you can see that the drone control application consists of a hamburger menu with uh, those options over here. So the first one is app launcher. So these are there are basically three ways to uh, launch uh, apps with app sidebar, which uh, you just uh, basically swipe from uh, somewhere and uh, there is a shortcut for application coming out and uh, also a circle bar and a gesture. So these are easily explainable, self-explanatory. There's also clock settings, so for example, you, uh, you have probably saw that uh, on my walk screen I have my weather over here, which is uh, something uh, really nice. Fingerprint scanner is working, also it doesn't need a tap on the home button, you just uh, um, press, uh, you just uh, lift your finger at the walk without the need of a press. So you can see those uh, other settings over here. You can choose to have um, a memory bar on the recent menu over here, so you can see right now I have 90, 900 megabytes left but uh, I don't like uh, this thing. So you can see there are those things over here. I'm not going to, uh, to stop at everything. So there is also a wake walk blocker. When we go to hardware keys, uh, you can uh, either disable or enable them. You can end call with power key and also pick up calls with the home button. You can also choose one press action and double tap action for the home button. Also, you can choose a short press and one press for recent. You can wake up device with the volume buttons and uh, control ringtone volume and everything. So uh, I decided to control the media volume with uh, the button with the volume buttons. And also you can move your cursor with the volume up. So when you click up the up button, the cursor will go right. And when you click the volume down button, it will go to the left. So this is uh, something uh, really cool. Let's go to the next thing. Next thing is walk screen. So you can uh, have your uh, playing uh, music album art as a walk screen wallpaper so you can see all of those options over here I'm not going to uh, stop at uh, every one of them I'm just going to stop at the most interesting one so uh, interesting ones so when you're on the walk screen and you press and hold your power key the flash white pops up which is something uh, really nice that is uh, really cool and uh, easily accessible also you have uh, battery info well, uh, I think the battery is being charged, yeah, so you can uh, see over here there is a uh, display negotiated charger max current voltage and battery temperature on walk screen while the device is charging, so this is something uh, really nice. Also, you can uh, choose whether to display the weather and the location and the content icon and you can uh, have settings for uh, this thing over here. So next off, let's go to notification drawer. So you can see all of those things over here. So I didn't uh, find any, any that is uh, interesting for me. So let me just explain something uh, really quick after I go over here. So you can also have weather over here. So as you can see, so uh, something over here to keep in mind is uh, let's go to, for example, Bluetooth TZ toggle. So you can see that uh, right now my Bluetooth is turned off and when I tap it turns on. And when I tap again, it just turns off normally. But when this thing over here, the easy talk is turned off, you can see that if I tap, it will turn it on and put me also into the menu so that I don't have to press and hold to get into the menu and uh, connect to whatever device I want. So this is something to keep in mind. And when it is turned on, when you click, it will also put you in the menu, but it will not turn off the Bluetooth. So you have to tap once again and you can choose this for uh, the, bat the Bluetooth and uh, the Wi-Fi. So this is uh, something uh, really cool. Also, you have Pi Control. You have uh, the power menu setting. So you can see I just uh, enabled everything. So you can choose the animation. You can uh, have it from top and uh, all of those over here. AOSP default is just popping up in front of you. So um, I chose it from the top. Next off is sound. You can see camera shutter sound, so when you try to turn it off, it says that it's in league with some areas, which is something uh, really interesting. And also we have volume steps, which are configurable, how much uh, times you must press to, to slightly precise your uh, volume. So this is something really cool. Next thing is status bar. On status bar you can choose all of those stuff over here. So on the battery status style we have all of those, so for example it can be a circle you can see so and also you can have the battery percentage 
um, hidden and everything over here you can uh, just pause and uh, take a look at something if you're more, more interested in it also we have AOKP logo I suppose it, I suppose it's uh, must be somewhere over here but uh, never mind so yeah here it is over here it is over here so um, this is something uh, really cool next off you can have your network traffic so you can see that on the top the network traffic just uh, got over here so this is again something cool but I don't uh, <laughs> I'm not going to use it and also there is a user interface so user interface you can see all of those things over here again I'm not going to stop at uh, everyone I'm just uh, going to open one menu and you can see there is a whole lot of uh, different animations and also transparency porn over here next thing is board personalization so this is basically the ROM control application this ROM is very smooth as you can see it opens uh, applications normally and something uh, really cool over here is that there is a theme engine if uh, I can enable it, if I can find it I'll just show it so first off let's go to navigation bar so you can see that you have a fully working navigation bar over here which is something I'm not going to use because I already have a hardware key over here so uh, let me just go to, I think it must be display so uh, yeah there is color engine so you can choose whether you want to have it uh, dark I think this one was uh, yeah this is a pixel and also this is default I think so you can see they are uh, not changing uh, that fast but I personally like uh, the dark one so there is a full dark theme over here and also you can have an accent color so you can choose a purple so let's uh, choose a purple just uh, for fun over here purple heat it is called so if you go back you can see that everything is right now dark and purple very strange combination but for the sake of this video I will leave it like that so you can see average 2 gigabytes of 3.5 memory is being used under gestures you have jump to camera and double tap to sleep on the status bar so if I manage to click it twice it works as you just saw so this is something uh, really cool next off you have location security so under security you also have face unlock and you have the ability to quick unlock after your pin is uh, after your correct pin is uh, turned on so this is something really cool and uh, basically this ROM is uh, very smooth and um, the pixel launcher is working great I'm not sure if I'm going to stick with it and uh, you can see that there is a quick reply and uh, everything is just uh, working fine so you can see so uh, I'm not really sure I'll probably test it see how battery life is this is something really important you can see there are also a whole lot of wallpapers so I personally really like this one even though I can find it so um, this is uh, so far a perfect ROM I'm really excited for Android 8.0 which is uh, going to come out and uh, it is going to be a big of a deal also we're waiting for uh, S8 port updates so stay tuned also for that and uh, thank you for watching and uh, click that subscribe button and like button if you have any questions leave them down below thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you soon